Hello, Windy Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Ori and the Blind Forest, the definitive edition even, with me, Blurinkula. We're currently, you know, climbing a mountain. There's a, there's a lot of wind and spikes and stuff going on, and it looks like I'm going to need some keystones to go to the left, so maybe I should go to the right first, see if I can do some hover, whatever you want to call this kind of thing is. It's not hard with a light touch, but, uh, I mean, the spikes do so much damage. I guess if this was an old NES game, the spikes would probably just kill you in one hit, and you have to restart for the level from scratch, so I should be grateful. Oh boy, okay, this is like, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Aha! Alright, look at this. We're not even gonna get hit. Today, no dying, no getting hit ever. This Ankylo will not be stopped by spiky death. Today's the day the skill comes to fruition. All that practicing. Some of you probably think I'm going to get hit by this green acid frog as soon as I open the door. You would be wrong. Haha! -ha! I'm never going to get hit again. Mm. That save point is just for fun. It's not a real save point. It's a fake save point. Ooh, just what we needed. More abilities. Sword through... I love soaring through the sky. What do we get? I need some more movement type abilities. Charge leap. Left trigger and then jump higher. I don't think I've been using the left trigger for anything. Cool. Oh, was that how I was supposed to do? Remember I learned an ability that was like a charge dash? Is that the actual charge dash? I just never pressed that button. Let me, uh, I want to check that now. We can do, oh, the charge jump will break those things from below. That's going to be very handy. So just let me check here. What was it called? Not air dash. Charge dash. I've had this for ages, and I've just never used the left trigger button to charge up. I probably could have charged up and done that ages ago. I couldn't have jumped, but I could have dashed. Well, you know. While climbing, you can use it. Okay. Now, I would expect this will open a few... Oh, you, can, you have to aim it. Oh, that's neat. Uh, this will probably open up a few, uh, like, broken walls that I can now cr smash through. So I like that. Alright, this is going to be fun. I'm always interested in going up higher. Ah, oh, that's... Oh, no, I didn't get hit. I've, I've not been hit today at all. Don't... What are you talking about, guys? This Ankylo never get, gets hit. I, I, dang it! <laughs> I didn't die either. That was just a bad dream. There's so many different buttons to remember now. <laughs> Probably get that help. What even hit me there? Oh, there is a spike on the left of the wall. I didn't even see. You know, I will say that as 
pretty as this game looks, it gets a little cluttered sometimes, like there's so much stuff on screen. That's, I'm pretty sure that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, like sometimes there's so much stuff on screen, it can be difficult to um, to tell, you know, if you're, if you're gonna land on a spike or, or something else. Well, this is good practice, because, uh... Yeah, it's good practice. I'm gonna... There's a lot of buttons to press, is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> There's too much... I'm getting too old. I... I feel like... After I climb on the left wall... Something is causing me to, like... Magnetized toward the spider, almost. Yeah, what? What the heck was that? I did not press jump or anything. I was holding my uh, cling to the wall button. You know, I have to hold the right trigger to, to hold onto the wall. What happens there? So I. Am I going crazy? Uh, you know, the spikes could not do four damage per hit as well. They don't need to be... Th <laughs> There's too many buttons. <laughs> I can't... Something... I don't know what it is, but like I get closer to that spider and it sucks me towards him. Like... I I don't know how to explain it other than I can't hold onto the wall when I go up through there. Am I not supposed to be able to hold onto that kind of wall? Is that something I was supposed to learn earlier that I just never learned? Well, now I can. I I'm very confused. Yeah, see that? Did it again there. Alright, just save it. It's fine. Okay. I Honestly, I don't know what's happening there, but it seemed like every now and then I would just sort of get suctioned off the wall towards the spiky death. And sometimes it didn't, so... Maybe it was the thing behind the spider that was doing that? I, I don't know if I've seen one of those before. Seems like a rude time to um, to add a new mechanic like that that I'm not that I don't know about. I feel I have a feeling I was supposed to um, mid-air jump off of the uh, one of the projectiles to get. Now, is this trying to tell me that you can... Yeah. So, what I have to do is I have to hold the second right trigger button to hold onto the wall, the second left trigger button to charge, I have to press not up or down, but right first, hold right, and then angle it up or down a little bit. So I have to hold it, that's three buttons, and then press jump. Wrong button to do it. That's f <laughs> just just in case you've never played this game before. That's why I died so many times in there because <laughs> I have to do controls that use a lot of finger dexterity. It's like we're playing Guitar Hero on Expert with your pinky finger, and I don't know what to do. Now is this another one of those boost up high enough get somewhere? Maybe. Oh, I can get there. I can get to that. Oh. Maybe I can't hold on to that little section of, la of uh, wall there. It's, it's really difficult to angle that. 
I, I don't think I'm supposed to go up there. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh... Oh, I know what it'll be. We'll go to the bottom here, and it will uh, enable the wind, and we'll, we'll fly up. That'll be a lot easier. There we go. Now the wind can continue its its uh, true course. Well, seeing as I'm probably just gonna die on the way up again. <laughs> hey, look! It's where we started the episode. It only took ten minutes. Um, but yeah. They give you a little bit of warning before they shoot lasers, but not much. It'd be really cool if you can sequence break by getting up here without having the wind going. Because it looks like it might be possible if you're really good at that uh, angled wall boosting upwards. And with triple jump and the da air dash and all that. Let's check the right side first. I'm doing it. I didn't even make the first jump. Seriously? You get killed by lightning if you go that way? Oh, I could probably do it. I gotta remember, when I gotta make a big jump. There's a better way to do it now. <laughs> you still get killed by lightning, though. <laughs> I do like that. Creative ways for killing you for going off, off the map. Oh, it's the sunstone that kills the demon blackbird. Let's try to keep certain racial <laughs> profiling out of this game. The white light that destroys the black bad guys. I could see some people taking this poorly. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we got ourselves a sunstone. That didn't take too long. So that's the third, you know, keystones that open areas up, I guess. I mean, yeah, don't forget, the fact that the de demon blackbird... Hey, wait. I'm gonna say the reason our owlbear mum died was because the demon blackbird killed the tree and stole the light. But... But maybe she wasn't dead. All right, well, if I was going to be mad at him for stealing the energy source, but he used it to save Albert, Mom. Well, that's just great. Remember the beginning of this game, everyone was all sad because the opening cutscene was so discouraging and all? Look, Albert, Mom is alive! And she's got a new friend. They are going to need some food, but, I mean, I'm, I'm healing the forest. We'll get better. <laughs> She's so slow. Just oompa looping along. Okay, if, if the volcano erupts, the forest is toast anyway. Okay, oh! So did I not get the actual item? Oh no, I did. I got the thingamajigger. So we got the sunstone, so now it's like, you know, we got the water vein and restored water. Then we got the Gumon seal, which restored all the wind. And now we got the sunstone and we're going to quell the volcano. And I'm only one power up away from all the main power ups. This one looks like fire flower to me. And it might be true that the charge jump is all I need to unlock all of the, um... All of these things that I want. So I'm, I'm getting tempted to go, like, exploring again. Do it! They did it. Because I've got so, quite a lot of power-ups now compared to... Okay. Uh, compared to what I used to have. Uh... 
The thing is, though, I think a lot of the stuff that's blocking us is just flat-up doors. And unless we can blow them open somehow, like, you know, super missile them open or whatever. Oh, this is... Uh... Okay. Okay. I forgot about the lasers there. Let's put the save down. Um, unless there's a way to open those closed doors, and I, I haven't figured that out yet. Like, some of them have cracks on them, and, and surely, now that I've got the charge jump, that'll open up some of them, I, I would expect. Like, I'm going to try to get to that dark one in the middle there. Just to see. Okay. For instance, this one is fine, because of that. So what do we get? We actually get a good thing. Extra life. Well, I'm really glad I went back for that. Great. Uh, well, let's go all the way left then, because I know, I'm pretty sure this was the one that, like, there's that one orb we can see. I think there was another one on the way up as well. Uh, well, something, that is to say. So, now I had a way, okay, just don't die, Blue. So I, I did figure out a way to get up here before, but can we just use this, see that didn't work. So I think there's still going to be a lot of just door type things that I still don't really have any way to get past. Unless I'm just missing some mechanic or some... Like, if they're all just controlled by, like, switches and levers... Hmm. Is, there, is there any, like... I just want to check if there's anything, like... That says, like... Might open up switches, because, like... I don't know. I just feel like I'm missing something. I guess it could be the final power-up, but... I don't think any of those are going to do it. Pickups. And most of these middle ones are just going to show me where the secrets are. And I feel like it's not so much finding them that's the problem. It's that there's all these doors that I don't know how to open up most of the time. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need... Like, these would be nice. Now, it is possible that... There is a switch somewhere that I just haven't found that's just in a hidden secret wall that opens that up. Um, but, you know, this kind of wall could have been a, something like that. But failing that, there must be a proper way... Well, either there's a secret wall somewhere, which is certainly possible. Yeah, so there's at least two right here. Unless I can charge through this. Doesn't look likely. Now, it's possible, now that I can charge boost, you know, there'll be new areas I can get to that might have switches in them, for instance. That I couldn't have jumped to before, because... Normally, you don't have a whole lot of, uh, vertical jump. But I also feel like, usually, the switches to stuff like that aren't, like, in, in video games in general, they don't... Wow, that killed me quick. Um, they're generally fairly close by, like, that's why I'm really suspicious of this... I, I don't know what to call it, but glowing... glowing lantern type thing. Because usually you, you'd, you'd put the switch fairly close to the, uh, to the door it opens. Reasonably speaking close. I gotta start doing that more often. Dang it! Not that. <laughs> the other thing. Okay, that seems like a really good attack. Is that using, like, all my energy, though? See, I, I picked up that charge dash earlier, and I didn't realize. Oh, yeah, that definitely takes uh, one of your orbs. Takes half an orb to save now, though. I've got quite a few, um, 
quite a good collection of energy orbs available. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of this area for now. I think the fact that I found that life up orb is probably good enough, like... And I think what I want to do... Dang it, bird! That was really cheap. Um, I like, got like stun locked by the bird as, as I was trying to fall down. Uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to try to keep keep progressing the game a little bit longer until... Um, Uh, I'm, I'm... <laughs> okay, um, let me just put the controller down, because I'm getting mad. I'm going to keep trying to progress the game until I pick up the final upgrade, whatever that last one is. And then I'm going to try to do a little bit of backtracking, because if I still can't open up half the doors, half the secret doors, then there's no point spending a lot of time going backwards right now, in my opinion. Now why... Why am I dying here so badly? Let's just kill the bird somewhere. It's totally safe. He's dead. And I already found that secret. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I've never tried to get out this way before. Alright, so, for instance, there was still, like, theoretically, yes, so this is exactly what I needed to get to this kind of area. So anything that's like, oh, did I already make it up here? <laughs> I used the bird to get up here, didn't I? <laughs> but this is, I'm sure that's how you were supposed to get up in here. Even if I cheated my way up earlier. It's great. I'm surprised that the bird... <laughs> I'm surprised with how tough the birds are. Like, you can basically cannonball onto them and they still don't even die. And in fact, they'll basically just kill you because... You don't have anywhere near as much life as the enemies do. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Are we just gonna go save it or something? There we go. Proper save point. I think this heals you up, right? Well, that'll make things a little bit easier. Full health, full energy. So what should we do for the rest of this episode? I just did the major plot progression. Um, I could try to get in there. That was the room full of fire. I, I do know where that is. So we've tried to get in there before. There's not too many areas I haven't been to at all at this point. There's a reason most of our percentages are so high. I've been to most areas fairly thoroughly, I feel. I mean, I know I need to retrace my steps to places like way over in this corner because there was a lot of there's a lot of secrets I know I didn't get because I couldn't at the time. But like, remember, where is it? It's like last episode, right there, that, that gap that opens up into water below me. How would I ever open that up? Unless there's some sort of key type thing you get later on, like. There's also half an area, I, oh, uh, I should, remember here? I said, let's just go up for now. I never did go to the right side of there. And that was the end of the, uh, the ice area. So, like, there could be a prize in there waiting for us. Hmm. Well, let's... Let's see if I can get that. Because I sort of remember that one. Or, you know, let's try anyway. There could have been something, um... Wasn't this area full of water originally? Well, that was a terrible idea. Why did I ever come down here? I'm pretty sure I found that secret spot before, though. 
I, I kind of hope that these green guys aren't just everywhere now. Because they're terrible. They just do too much damage. Oh yeah, remember when I figured out how to get up here using hacks? Well... Now there's just wind that takes you straight up here. Alright, so yeah. Rooms like this, we can totally get into easily. That's not the problem. It's the ones that aren't cracked, like there's no... There's the ones that seem to have a switch opening or something. So do I go for Ultra Defense? Probably, because I'm dying all the time. Or do I try to get to do more damage? Because if I killed those green things faster, I might die less. I think we finished the blue one. And then maybe I go for the red to do more damage. Okay, let's pick another one maybe worth a try. I mean, you know, we're almost at the end of the episode, but I got like five minutes left. I should try to get that one while we're over here. So we got to go right up and up and up. Okay. Alright, that was my bad. I just jumped right onto him. Also, if possible... I should kill enough things to get that level up, because we're really close. Oops. Stop it! <laughs> Once you're going crooked, it's hard to recover. Uh, just a little bit further. Of course. Of course. All the way back here. I, I think it's probably a really good idea that I'm planning on getting that ultra defense because I, I still think a lot of my fundamental problem with this game is that I just take too much damage. So it's like the game is designed for you to play it a little bit slower, uh, maybe a little bit more methodically, more like a puzzle game than an action game. And they punish you because you've got low HP kind of thing. But I like to play with a little bit faster pace, especially because I'm recording. You know, I like to kind of just keep things rolling at a good speed. And it, it works most of the time, but uh, obviously uh, it doesn't work perfectly. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up the Ultra D. I hope it does more than just a tiny little bit, like... Like, a small percent to take less. I hope it really works, like, significantly. Alright, so... Th so those thick-looking walls with cracks on them, we can definitely break those. And that's another level up. So, it's really just the ones that are doors that we can't open up right now. I already went up there. Look at this. Look at this! Didn't even need to save it or anything. Piece of cake. Oh, well, I feel like, you know, that's a pretty good start there. We got like two power ups right in a row. Should I try to get more? Like, I just want to cover it. I know I probably keep rambling about the same things over and over again. But, um,. I should also be paying attention to how much damage I'm taking. Uh, what was I going to say? I lost my thought completely. Um, I should be paying attention to how much damage we're taking on one hand. And also I want to check another one of those doors that... You know, there's got to be a way to open. Like, it's just over... It's just below us here, really. And I think, like, this area that leads to the water below us, it has, like, a thick sort of door-looking thing. And I'm guessing that that above me had to be some sort of lever, because it's so close, that would open that up, right? Like, that's got to be it. 
I'm so dead. All right. So I'm th I'm hoping that the final upgrade somehow gives us the ability to like pull those levers if they're supposed to be levers, right? I'm really hoping. I could probably get whatever that is now because I could boost up to the roof. Let's see, is there anything else obvious? You could, you could try to go to this room on below us. I don't want to spend too much time exploring because I know pretty much where I'm supposed to go. I also could try to get in there. I But I would like, I guess, you know, like I'm wiffle waffling. But I wouldn't mind to have a little bit more life and especially some ability points because like I feel like we've got to be getting pretty close to the end of the game by now. So, if there's some really cool, um, you know, power-ups and stuff, I'd like to have them before we run out of time. Oh, those will kill you. I think those will kill me? Pretty sure those types of things kill you, right? So it's right and then up, basically. This is one of those areas, I remember this one specifically. This area was one of those ones where I had to do a bunch of, I think? Was this one of the ones where I did a bunch of fancy leaping to get up before? It totally was. That's the, okay. That's the wrong way to go up there. That was the problem. Alright. I know what to do. I know it feels like I'm going round and round a lot here. At least we've got that jump. That'll make things a bit faster. Looks like it only costs energy to, um... I just didn't notice it. Or... Isn't it this? I thought there was a connector right here. Oh, of course there wouldn't be. I'm crazy. I must be- oh, it's maybe below me. It's just- it's hidden. Right, I missed it because it's- it's a secrety one. Easy mistake, right? These things are vicious! I need more power. I'm sure I was saying something that I just totally forgot about there. Don't worry about it. It's probably nothing important. So, can we make it up whatever this is now? Yes, because I think- well, maybe no, because there's still that little... I'm gonna call it a lever of some sort there. Yeah. Okay. That's gotta be another... It's gotta be from the final power-up, right? It's just, it's one of those things that's been bugging me for a long time, so... It's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit here. Well... Maybe I should call that an episode. There's not too much more for us to do. Um, I think, because this is like the starting area here, I'll see if I can get to one of those areas I couldn't get to before below us. Also above us. Because I've never been up and left here. Which is interesting. I thought I remember going up there. Oh, right! I had to do some real tricky boosting off of these guys to get up here in the first place. And then, aha, okay. So, it's starting to look like whenever I find these doors, maybe not every single time, but most of them have one of those red, potentially, levers. Okay. Okay, that's... that's nice. Nice to be back in the early section of the game where enemies die quickly. Ah, uh, see? Another one right there. I bet you there's a locked door below us, right? Have I cracked it? This right here below me probably will open up. Alright, I think... I think... I'm starting to get it. So when I said earlier, you know, I should wait until I do some backtracking, until I get all the final upgrades, I think that's it. Is Until I can open those... Some... Must just be some... I mean, I don't know why they'd, they'd block you from opening switches, but, uh, whatever the final upgrade is must have something to do with that, anyway. Oh, 
Oh yeah, well that's an easy one. So like, there would be some value to backtracking right now and trying to get a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just going to complete this one because I'm right here if I can. But I think this is as far as I'm going to go. Okay, we already did there. It's right and up. Okay, yeah, this is the perfect one. So this is the kind of thing that we can do now. Because we can break it open. It's like, that's good. That's an extra life. Like, there's probably a fair bit of stuff that we could unlock. If I wanted to backtrack to some of the corners of the map. But, um... I think I'll call that enough. Well, well... The trick is just knowing when it's a, uh... Oh, that's a... Uh, that might not be possible. Oh no, it's possible. This is apparently an area that I just never went through. But it was like a... This is like an earlier area, right? This is like... They probably would have given this to you right after you got the down... The, the down pounder. And it might be one way. Probably have to come from the top and work your way down. Maybe. Well, whatever. Anyway, I think we're going to call that an episode here. Um, I got a couple life upgrades, so I'm happy with that. I'm sure there's more to be gotten if I wanted to keep going further and further into the background, sort of back backtracking type area. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to head up. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to end the episode right at the edge here. Okay, we'll do that much. It's only been 36 minutes, right? It's fine. Oh, this stuff. All right. I just want to end the episode. Boy. Um, ready to go into the lava, basically. I'm just being weird, that's all. This would be a good time to do some backtracking and, and pick up a few uh, power-ups. Make no mistake. I just don't want to do my thorough 100% search. Not that I'm promising to get anything close to 100%, but because a lot of stuff is locked behind those those doors, literally locked doors, I don't think it's worth spending too much time doing a lot of extra backtrack. It's been so long that I've completely forgotten about the traps around here. Oh, that almost didn't work. Uh, so what else is there to say? <sighs> Try not to die, Blue. This stuff isn't that hard. We've been here before. You know, I've already seen all these traps, right? So this is the other laser pit. It was just bad timing. If I'd seen it there a second, or half a second even earlier, I would have known... What was coming? Okay, let me just go up and left from here. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Probably should have used the air dash for that one, to be honest. Alright, and then this is just the connector. No big deal. There was definitely stuff at the top of this room that I couldn't get to before. Uh, we'll just spend a second here. Because I remember thinking, oh, well now we can just float up, right? Now that the wind is unlocked, a lot of this is, yeah. You know. <laughs> Areas that we maybe could have done with a lot of uh, creative uh, pathfinding are now trivial, basically, because of the wind upgrade. It's cool. I guess technically then, if you do a bunch of difficult platforming, you sort of do sequence breaks, basically, because you end up getting places earlier than you should. There's also something... Oh dang it, I'm so close, I could check it out. Oh yeah, energy upgrade. Ah, oh, okay, hold on. I kind of remember a couple things in this area that... That's not a potential pull lever. I kind of remember being back here earlier thinking there's got to be a couple secrets and I wanted to give him a second try so let's 
Let's do it while we're here. Also, because the lava area, like, it seems like you took so much damage from all those tough enemies. Remember how hard I had to work to get up here only to get disappointed? And then once again. So that looks like a door that needs a lever. Dang. I thought for sure that I'd have enough this time. Maybe they're like maybe they're gonna be like timed levers and they saved it for the end of the game because they're gonna be really difficult. That's another switch door, so I can't get through. It's another it looks like a switch door anyway. Well that's very unsatisfying. Because that's an energy orb that I almost was able to get into. But like for this one, I don't even see any switches nearby. And then we're into the lab area. That's where we're going to end the episode. Hmm. Looks like we can't get much higher than that. Well, I'm assuming then... Oh, that's right. You can get a big jump off of those. I forgot. I'm assuming then to get that energy orb... And to get through this door, there must be some sort of switches somewhere nearby that I just haven't seen. I mean, this is one too, right? Yeah, this is the area I was trying to get to from the other side. Tried to do a charge dash into it. Hm. Oh well. I'll cease my endless pursuit of 100% uh, for now. I did what I needed to do. Alright. Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed. I know uh, it's probably frustrating, especially if you've already played the game. You know what opens those doors, and I could see that being a little bit frustrating if you're watching. But if you're watching it and you've never played the game before, I'm assuming you're kind of in the same boat as I am. Curious to learn how to open stuff up and get all the best secrets. Anyway, next episode we'll head into the uh, fire area for, I assume, hopefully... I mean, they must give you one more ability and then a chance to go get all the items. Like, But we're, we're probably getting awfully close to the end of the game, right? Like... Even just counting these, there's optional upgrades, there's not that many left, and then quest items were running out. So anyway, it feels like we're making good progress. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for Volcanic Mayhem, where we'll probably get burned to death. How, how many deaths are we up to? 236? Who's betting we're going to cross 300 before we finish the game? <laughs> Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time for more Ori and the Blind Forest.